Yeah. When they start, <laughs> and um, so sometimes people will mount reverse thrown, right? Mm -hmm. But not, not everyone can do this. It's kind of awkward to jump backwards. One, two, hop. It's kind of awkward to hop back. So let's see if you can do that. If you feel comfortable with that, you, that's the easiest way. The feet placement is nice. It's not too close to the knee. If the feet's like too close here, your wrap is going to be really tight and uncomfortable. So you want you want the wrap to be nice enough to where there's just a tiny bit amount of space. If it's too tight, when you lean back, it, it may put too much pressure on your knees. So she's going to engage your core and lean back this way. Back this uh -huh, way? Yeah, backwards this way. Nice tight core. And my hands are up. So when she's here, I can catch her, right? So that's why that space comes in handy when she's leaning back, because when she does, her legs clamp together, and now there's no space at all. But if, I'm going to push it back up to reverse the throne. Okay, two, one, up. So when, if we start, if we start like right here where it's like all the way in, what happens is, because normally when we do throne, we'll do that, right? Yeah. When she comes back, it's going to be really tight. Go ahead and lean back, Alexis. It's going to pinch your toes oh, a bit. Uh, yeah. Ooh, sorry. And then it's going to be a lot on your knees too. So that's yeah, why, the knees. that's why I like starting between the butt and the knee. That woman to start like somewhere, like either in the exactly middle. Where her or like right there. Okay. See, there's a little bit of a space there. It's a little more comfortable. So this okay. is a great core workout. Nice, strong core. You can cross your arms across your chest if you like first, and then lean back. The base has their hands up the whole time. Nice core. The slower you can control that, the easier it is for her to balance. And then Sammy, as she's coming back, I'm pressing through my toes too, mm -hmm. so I don't fall back this way. Okay. Through the toes there. And then from there, you can go one, two down, and then core up, and she'll sit back up. And be mindful, you go too far forward, she will unwrap and fall forward. Okay. Those wraps are going to hurt you if you don't unwrap in time. Yeah. Okay, let's say you can't get into that. Here's another way to get into it. We'll start from hammock now. She's going to turn away, sit right down onto my shins. My toes are going to turn out underneath her knees here. She'll lean back, all the way back. So this will be easier. So once you're here, She'll lean back, and my feet underneath her knees, I need to walk them more towards her thighs there. She can kind of just pop them off, right? Then she'll wrap around, around, and then two, one, I'll push her up. We go reverse that way. Okay. There's two different ways to mount it. But the idea of waterfall is when you're reverse throwing, you can do a really fun transition where you can, once you get good with it, let's just bring your hands up and kind of like, do a little flare where you're going towards the sky and leaning back. So you can, I like, I, I like this kind of bit, right? Kind of working together and then we'll catch. And then from there we can go into monkey frog and do a lot of different transitions, right? Mm -hmm. So let's do, let's try doing the reverse throne first. Okay. If that feels good for you, if not, do the waterfall now. Okay. 